Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoterica and our continuing series on the Mr. FPJ DE10 Nano Board. And we're continuing on comparing the Mr. Course to the most popular and recommended emulator for each platform. And today we're taking a look at Game Boy on Same Boy. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but the name of the emulator is Same Boy, and that is what was recommended to me to use by multiple people. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor, go down below, hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But what I've come away with comparing the Mr. Game Boy Core to Same Boy is just how incredibly close they actually are. And it's a really interesting comparison to do just black and white. On the left we have Mr., on the right we have Same Boy, and you'll see that it is almost indistinguishable to tell any functional difference, because a lot of times when we're doing these comparisons, we're talking about slight variations in color, depending on if we're using Mr. or the emulator. But of course here we're not dealing with color whatsoever, and that's why I'm going to leave the Game Boy Color to a different video so we can more properly discuss that. But the shades of gray, the shades of black, everything in between look identical to me across the both of these emulators. That is a good thing. That means they're both doing an excellent job. What I have noticed though is Same Boy likes to have a little bit of advanced run ahead as far as frame timing is concerned. When I take Warrior Land and I put the intros together, there is no user control in this. It just runs automatically. And if I line the frames up, what I would expect to see is it to stay consistent across the entire animation for lack of a better term. But you'll see here on the right, Same Boy starts to get a little bit ahead of itself compared to Mr. And when the Wario Land title comes in, it gets there first. Now that functionally does not affect anything whatsoever as far as gameplay is concerned. And if I didn't tell you that there was a two frame advance on Same Boy, you would never notice if you were just playing in normal circumstances. But what I'm finding with a lot of the software emulators is that they do like to have a little bit of pacing or timing issues. Now when I am doing these tests, I am just running the emulator and OBS. There's nothing else on my desktop running. And I'm using an i7 and a GTX 1080 Ti. So there is no resource issue because Mr. Being a close platform, you don't need to worry about having different hardware specs. On a PC, depending on what hardware you're running what's running in the background, you may see some sort of performance difference. But as far as how these games look and play next to each other, going from Mr. to Same Boy, if I didn't have the titles on the screen and I didn't have the file names on my timeline, I wouldn't be able to pick these apart myself, to be entirely honest with you. It's just the file naming that lets me know what content I am working with. And that's the great thing. That means everything is ultra consistent. I can cut from one shot to another or fade, and it matches perfectly and I do love that. So if you want to use software emulation for Game Boy, Same Boy is going to be an excellent option. But moving on, taking a look at something else, let's move over to Castlevania and you'll see again all of those, you know, towers in the background, the pillars, Corinthian, Ionic, I can't remember my art history enough to tell you exactly what they are, but it's very, very close. I would say Same Boy in some of the shadows is ever so slightly darker, but we're getting down to pure aesthetics at this point. But what I can say is, no matter which version I'm using, this crow always gives me hell, and it always has given me hell, and it'll never not give me hell. It's almost like the footage is synced up, but that's just because I play these games the exact same way every time I play them. It's kind of funny watching the different versions and realizing the one consistent in them all is the way I approach each game as you'll see here, I jump almost at the exact same frame from the rope onto the platform and onto the next platform. But what I want you to let you do is listen to the audio quality because that's half of everything. So go ahead and listen to first the Mr. version and then Same Boy and you leave me a comment below and tell me how you think they sound.
so I cannot hear with my ear any noticeable difference in the audio between Mr. and Same Boy. And when I put both on top of one another and check the waveforms, it is near identical. There's probably like 2% fluctuation and that's probably just down to slight audio level differences. But again, as I mentioned earlier, the one difference that I can find is just the fact that Same Boy gets out of sync with Mr. And it can be a little harder to tell with this text scroll here, but it's great to compare intros because it's some situation where you don't have user control. It is just playing itself. So it should be keeping the same pace. But as you see, as the text lines come up on the right, they're going to start to get a few pixels higher and it is hard to observe, but basically several hundred is scrolling ever so slightly quicker. It's a small thing, but I do want to point out differences where I can find them. But again, when it comes down to gameplay, I can tell no perceivable difference. There is no lag that I notice on Mr. And there's definitely no lag that I notice on Same Boy. That doesn't mean I'm good at these games. I seem to die in the exact same spot sometimes. But whatever version I'm playing, I'm getting a really good Game Boy experience. And obviously, both of them look a lot nicer than an original Game Boy screen, which is great. It's a little bit of a bummer that Same Boy, you know, loses those few frames or it gains them. But like I said, it doesn't have any effect on gameplay whatsoever. I mean, this intro here for Triple World looks amazing on Mr. and on Same Boy. So does it really matter that Same Boy gets ahead a few frames of Mr.? No, it doesn't affect anything whatsoever. The interesting thing is when I leave the audio on top of itself and both audio sources are running at the same time, those don't seem to desync compared to the video. So it just seems like the video, when it's drawing the pixels, when it's going through that code, likes to just get ahead ever so slightly. But again, it is completely meaningless to me, but if I didn't point it out, someone would ask me why I didn't. But you'll see here in Same Boy, as you jump through the clouds, you get sprite flickering on your main character in the ears and in the body. And if we move over to Mr., we're going to get that exact same sprite flickering when we move our body through the clouds. So as far as that, handling what the Game Boy could and couldn't do, it is still identical. So the main takeaway here is, if you're going to buy a Mr. just to play Game Boy games, you might want to try Same Boy. If you want to play Game Boy on Mr., it's an absolutely incredible experience. No matter how you want to emulate Game Boy, whether that's through FPGA, replication, or software emulation, you're going to have a great experience no matter what you do. There's so many great games, and there's so many good ways to play them. It really is awesome that we have all these different options to check these things out. But I will be back next Thursday with another episode in this series, and I'll have videos on Friday, Sunday, Tuesday and Wednesday as well, but leave me a comment down below and tell me, am I playing Dr. Mario on Mr. or am I playing it on Same Boy? My guess is that you will not be able to tell. It's a 50-50 shot and maybe you'll just get lucky. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'd love chatting with you guys. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Enjoy the pills. Bye-bye.